All right, Miller. Yeah, I got some uh, love for the 20. Here's mine, build I did a little while ago. Wanted something I can play with uh, military ball, maybe play around and uh, dispel some of the myths at the old gun club about uh, what you can do with the platform, especially over distance. And here we go. A lot of this is uh, it's actually pretty much a majority of a New England gun with the exception of that stock. Let me zoom in here a little bit. Let's go from the back end here. It's the, uh, of course, the A stock. Uh, where I live in Connecticut, we've got no choice but to uh, have a fixed stock. So I figured why not go with the Ace? It fits well. It's rock solid. No rattle in there. Uh, going on up, of course, we've got the Magpul backup sights. And this is where the rest of the gun uh, pretty much gets to be quite New England. Uh, it's a stag uh, upper and lower receiver. Uh, I did uh, assemble this myself, all the parts and everything I put together myself. So it was a fun project. Uh, living uh, down the street from stag, I couldn't resist keeping it kind of local. It's got a few uh, extra extras added to it. Uh, you can start to see the little nub there. Uh, that's the uh, the battery assist uh uh, lever from uh, Tactical Solutions. Uh, definitely was a better choice than the Magpul I used to have on before there. It just seems a lot more solid. Um, of course, the extended mag release uh, going on up. Uh, the rest of the stuff going up here, uh, we get to be a little bit more uh, New England, but in the way of uh, Yankee Hill. Uh, got a Yankee Hill barrel, Yankee Hill forend. Um, of course, the uh, the vertical grip is not, and uh, the, it's the Troy Medieval uh, muzzle device, bipod and everything, but uh, Magpul uh, backup sights. All in all, it was a fun build. Sorry for the poor lighting here, and probably can't see a lot of that, but I even uh, painted in uh, roll marks and stuff like that, so overall, it was a fun project live here in Connecticut, so I had to keep it all Connecticut legal, of course. But, uh, 20-inch uh, AR. It's loads of fun. Of course, after lugging around all the time, and this is a very pretty heavy configuration, I'm looking forward to a nice and small 16-inch uh, 300 blackout build. That'll be the next project. But right now, laying prone in the New England snow, knocking down a couple hundred yards, this has been a very fun project. See you later. Thanks a lot, Miller, for all your videos. You've had a lot of fun stuff out there. Uh, you asked for responses, so I figured I'd hit you up with one. CT Kicks over here in New England. Keeping it cold. But the uh, AR is nice and hot. Thank you very much.